Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day. Hey, shooting our quick video today. Um, huge, huge thank you to all you students uh, and adults who stepped up to the plate for Shine Kickoff uh, this last Sunday. It was awesome, gave away some stuff, ate some food, played some games, had a really good time, heard the word, and I am so, so proud of all the students who were willing to literally stand up and um, profess your faith to God and rededicate your lives to God and, and just reconnect that commitment. It's so important for us to, um, to be connected to God. I mean, when we're not connected with God, I mean, it's, it's basically hell. Uh, hell is when we're not connected to God for eternity. And so I praise you and I thank you. I'm so, I'm so happy uh, that you guys stepped up. It was awesome. Um, so I wanted to say the thank you. Also this coming Sunday, Shine, again, 6 o'clock to 7.30. Uh, we also have the Valentine's dinner. So mark your calendars, February 14th, 6 to 8 p.m., It'll be awesome, $24 a couple. Um, be sure to invite people. We have tickets to sell. So be sure to get a ticket. If you know someone that wants to buy one, get the ticket. We'll sell it to them. It'll be awesome. It'll be a really fun evening and a great way to earn some money uh, to camps uh, this summer. Wanted to share a thought with you. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I'm so cold. You guys stepped up. Let's see what I can get going here. This is bedhead for me now, which is unusual. You guys stepped up, 25 students, got the new do. I kept the sideburns. I hope you guys like the Mr. T look. Uh, maybe I need to get some like gold necklaces or something. But you guys stepped up, it was awesome. Um, I actually kind of like it, although my daughter thinks I look like a pony. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But hey, I really, in all seriousness, um, even in church, sometimes we go through difficult things. Sometimes life just gets hard. And the enemy loves to distract us from what we're supposed to be focused on. And obviously that's Jesus. Um, a friend of mine, uh, it was about five, six years ago, I went through this really difficult thing. And he kept saying, just keep your eyes on Jesus, keep your eyes on Jesus. Okay, yeah, whatever, uh, thanks. Yeah, I got it, I know what I'm supposed to do. But he kept saying it, he kept saying it. It's like, it was almost irritating that he kept saying, keep your eyes on Jesus, keep your eyes on Jesus. It's like, okay, I got it, whatever. Finally. Finally, the light bulb went off, and it's like, yeah, I'm so focused on my situation that I'm in that I'm not focusing on Jesus. And so a Bible verse, just one verse, that's all I want to share with you, but to put it in context, it's from the Gospel of John, and it's this is right after like the, the disciples were eating with Jesus, and they call it the Last Supper. Like This is the last time that Jesus is hanging out with his posse, so to speak, um, before he is uh, tried, tortured, and hung on a cross. And this is right after Peter says, I will die for you. And Jesus is like, no, you'll deny me three times before the rooster crows. And right after that, this is what Jesus says. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. And so I just want to share with you what my friend shared with me. Uh, maybe you're not even going through a tough time right now. Uh, maybe life's going pretty good, grades are good, school's good, my relationships with my friends and my family, and everything's good. Well, at some point, they probably won't be. For the rest of us, um, yeah, life is tough. Relationships get broken, um, we get hurt, things are said, things get difficult. But what we have to do is trust in Jesus. We have to focus on Jesus. Everything is revolved 
around Jesus. Jesus didn't just get tortured and hang on a cross for something to do or to do some good deed. He did it for you. He did it for me. And we need to focus on that. So I just wanted to shoot out that quick devotion. Be sure to like this. Be sure to share it with people. Um, be here Sunday. If you have any questions, you know where to hit me up. Have a great week, guys. We'll talk to you later. See ya.